value of y, you have a different, um, um, you know, probability. So um, here, okay, in this uh, in this formula, there are two parameters actually. Okay, a is fixed. A is not a parameter. Okay, theta is a parameter. Y is a parameter. But uh, here, okay, when we say this is a prob is a distribution. What we are saying is that, okay, we are using y as um, as uh, as the x axis. Okay, so that's why. Okay, two things. Okay, because y is a con is a is a is an integer. So that's why uh, this is a discrete distribution. And also, okay, because we use y, okay, so summation, y starting from zero to n, this formula will add up to one. Okay, but if you use theta, okay, I mean, of obviously theta can, I mean, range can, can be range from zero to one, right? Okay, so obviously, I mean, you can also use theta to consider this uh, formula and the fix y, obviously. But in that case, this is not a distribution. Okay, this is not a distribution because integral from 0 to 1, given this formula, d theta, is not a 1. Okay, it's not a 1. Okay? So given a fixed value of theta, okay, um, you know, um, yeah, this is a um, probability distribution of y for y. So this here will give you some example. Okay. So um, well, where n is one, okay, and uh, y is zero, y is one, okay. And theta is 0 0.25, I mean, it represent the first, the upper left corner. And this one is theta, I mean, I mean, we change the theta value to 0 0.5. We change the theta value to 0 0.7. And this one, we change the n to be 2. So we have three possible cases for y, 0, 1, 2, okay? And uh, again, we use uh, 0 0.21. Uh, 25, 0 0.25, 0 0.75. And uh, when theta is, uh, when n is 4, we have four possible cases for y, okay? So you can see, um, um, obviously, I mean, I mean, here we give you some examples for this uh, binomial distribution, okay? For different theta, theta and n, okay? And you can see that uh, uh, these bars, these bars, okay, I mean, add up, okay, to be one, okay, across all the value of y. These bars add up to be one. Okay? So binomial distribution is a reasonable choice uh, for likelihood. We can see that theta indicate how likely it is to obtain a head toes. Okay, so just compare the value of theta with height of the bar for y equal to 1. So this is uh, from uh, the upper row. Okay, you can see, um, well, it's, a, it's a reasonable. Okay, so if we know the value of theta, the binomial distribution will tell us the expected distribution of heads. So the only problem is that we do not know theta, okay, because well, we do not know theta. I mean, here, I mean, we actually are talking about the prior theta, okay? But do not disappear in Bayesian statistics. If every time, if we do not know the value of a parameter, we put a prior on it, okay? If you don't know, so this, this, this sentence is important. In Bayesian statistics, Every time, if we do not know a value okay, of a parameter, we put a prior on it. This is always the, the, the case. 
Okay. So, well, it's 55. Let's let's take 10 minutes break. When we come back, we'll continue this example. Okay.